What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today we're unboxing a Trick or Treat Studios Ben Tramer mask that has been converted and rehauled into a Halloween 1978 mask. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So I literally just got this thing from eBay and I just want to do a massive shout out to the seller because this thing came super fast and also it was packaged very well. Just wanted to shout out the seller for the excellent packaging and shipping time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the mask itself so i have had a look inside the box just to make sure it's what it is and yes it is the mask here it is so like i said this is a tots ben tramer well it's supposedly a uh Trick studios ben tramer mask that was converted into a halloween one mask it looks awesome so i just randomly saw this thing on like ebay and it looked really cool from the pictures so i thought why not? So I went in and managed to win the uh, eBay bid. And yeah, already this thing looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is the the bag that Triple Street Studios actually use, I think. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Already this thing looks awesome. All right, and there it is. And here is the mask itself, and that is actually a pretty cool looking mask. So it looks like the hair has been redone, or at least recolored and styled to match Michael's hair. So my guess is that they've glued a wig onto the top of the mask to create this look. The latex feels very thick. Oh, uh, let me check inside right now. So it definitely says here, Halloween 2 is a something I think that's just a trademark. So it's definitely a Trick or Treat Studios. So guys, here is a look at the mask now. And I'll go get a stand so we can like stuff it and just take a look at it once it's fully stuffed. Okay guys, so I have just worn this thing for the first time. And my first impressions of this mask, before we talk anything about the detail or anything, this mask feels really good. And what I mean by that is that the quality, I don't own the original Ben Tramer mask or the Halloween 2 mask, but the latex is significantly thicker and feels a lot higher quality than the latex used on the newest mask by Tots. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, these things are pretty high quality in their own way, but the feel of this thing is definitely something different. It's very like, like I said, high quality. It feels very, uh, like it's not gonna break basically. It's a very nice feel to it, nice texture. It definitely looks better in person than it did on the website photos or the eBay photos, but even then it looked great. Uh, now, it looks even better because I can finally get to see this thing. And so this is actually, I don't own the TOTS uh, 78 mask. If I did, I would definitely do a comparison. But honestly, this thing is just so cool looking. I'm not even sure if I am gonna get the 78 mask. Initially, I was going to purchase 78 mask, but I was looking through eBay and I did see this thing, so that's why I didn't get the TOTS version, but I'm so happy that I came across this thing. But enough talking, let's just get onto the detail. All right, so most notably, when you take a closer look at the face, I've tried to get you guys a better camera angle so you can fully see the sheer amount of detail on this thing. But what stands out to me most is the shading under the cheekbones and the eyes. I'm very happy with how it looks. It is one of the coolest looking masks. Definitely my favorite in my collection. Now I say that about every mask I get, but with this thing, it's just something special. I'll bring it a bit closer so you guys can see some more of the texture. I don't know who's recalled this mask. The eBay description, it didn't say who did it. I'm assuming it's the seller, but I might be wrong. But regardless of whoever uh, Rehaul this mask, they have added the sideburn rip where the original mask was made. I'm sure you guys all know this by now, but yes, this was a Captain Kirk mask for the original Halloween and they ripped off the sideburns here, giving it that texture right here. And they have added that on both sides. And I think it looks very good. Very good attention to detail in this mask. There is so much detail here. So there's the sideburns, the ears look great. So yeah, this mold is Ben Tramer from the tots and i don't own the ben trim either but i'm sure it would be great 
uh, to get it someday. But, I mean, this is just phenomenal as of right now. I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm still baffled about the thickness of the latex. Maybe the rehaulers have maybe done something to it that I don't know. Maybe use some kind of texture, like substance too hard in the latex, but I really don't know. Uh, taking a closer look at the shading, you can see around the eyes here, there is some shading and on the eyebrows. Also something to note that I didn't realize initially is, let me move up the way to get you a better look. Um, on the eyes, there is a thin white, I mean black, uh, shading going around the eyes to try and darken it when you're wearing it. And I think it looks very, very cool. I'll give you guys a spin. There's the side profile. Both sides. Here's a look at the hair. So it's been rehaired with a different hair, which I think looks awesome. There is some slight skin tone around the back mainly. They have also extended the slits inside of the mask. Now, when trying it on, um, it's very tight, but not anywhere near as tight as the 2018 mask. It is pretty much the best fitting mask that I had since this one. It leaves just enough room for my head to feel comfortable without feeling like constantly stretching like this one. I think it's a perfect fit. I really love this thing. But yeah, as you can see, I'm so pleased with this thing. I will now show some photos on screen of me wearing this thing. And I think this looks so awesome. The guy was selling it off for a very good price as well. I'm very happy that I managed to get it. Make sure to tell me what you guys think of this thing in the comment section. Are you a fan of it or not so much? Personally, I think it is the greatest or the best looking Michael mask that I currently own. I think it's very cool. I've actually run out of stands for all of my masks now. I have the... I have all three of the Blumhouse Trilogy masks. I've run out of stands for them all. But that will be it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. As mask collecting is something I never intended on doing, but it's sort of just something that kind of happened. Ever since I collected the three masks at the back, I always sort of thought, I kind of want this one. You know what, I might as well get that one as well. So it kind of like spiraled into me now getting another mask and I've also ordered another one which I didn't plan on doing either but I just sort of made myself do it. That mask might be coming this week but I'm not too sure. It probably is. It is another mask by Trick or Treat Studios and this one I can't. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.